It's important to know how to take proper care of your respirator or mask to make sure that you get the right protection that it's designed for. So it's important to protect yourself from the hazards that you can and can't see. So we're gonna start by talking about the two strap respirators and how you should take care of them. So as you can see, we have different types of respirators, some with valves, some with a kind of a plastic covering. Um, so the important thing to know about two strap respirators or air filtering pieces is that when the mask doesn't look like it's, it's usable anymore. Um, you've worn a two-strap mask before. I think we've talked about that. So how do you decide when to get rid of your, your two-strap mask? Well, visibly, you can look at them and see if they're full of dust, and usually a day, they're gone. I just don't try to use them too long. Many times the question is, when is it time, and, and what, how do you decide how long is too long? And it really depends on things like temperature and humidity and what the exposure is, what kind of hazard it is. So the mask can become look very dirty. And then we also want to instruct people to instruct, inspect the straps. These are heavier duty straps. They might not wear out as, as quickly as something like this. So you need to inspect it. Look and see, you can sometimes see there's a little valve in there. Mm -hmm. Does that valve look curled up? You know, or perhaps that it's just very dirty or the straps are broken. Of course, we've talked about not wearing one strap mask. So if one strap is broken, that becomes a one strap mask. So really they are designed to be disposable. So get rid of them sometimes at the end of each day, sometimes at the end of the week, but definitely when it gets difficult to breathe through or it looks like visibly that it's not performing like it should be. And then when you begin to move on to a different type, the half mask respirator, these type of masks, really there's a lot of other things you can do to take proper care of them. So with this mask, for example, we have these type of straps and so as you begin to pull on these repetitively, and then those straps can wear out or the cradle wears out. So that can be replaced. That's one of the first things you can look at. Also the mask comes completely apart. So when we say care for your mask, we actually mean wash it. And you can wash it with hot soapy water, dish soap, and let it air dry. Okay, do you see these little valves? Kind of maybe take one of those off for me on the back here. There's a little valve. So these are the valves that we need to inspect every day when we look at our mask. Okay. So when those are worn out or curled or cracked, that means it's time to replace the valves. An important piece of making sure that they last for a long time is, like I said, you're going to wash them. And we like to say you should wash them every day. We know that's not going to happen. Do you think that will happen? No, it's really doubtful. It's really <laughs> doubtful. So we do say probably at least once a week and definitely once a season you need to remember you're putting this mask on your face, right? Okay. So, also we need to talk about cartridges. How do you know when it's time to throw the cartridges away? Get new cartridges. Well, in a cartridge mask, I'd probably assume that it needs to be done at least once a season or when it feels like it's ineffective. Very good. That's, it. That's, that's excellent. And since they don't really have an expiration date, that really does become confusing for people. So, as long as they're in the plastic covering, then they're really going to hold their properties very well. Once you've taken them out of that package, then you do need to be aware of when it becomes difficult to breathe through. You can smell or taste what you're being exposed to, or like you said, at least once a season. And you know based on what you're working in, maybe the more dangerous types of things, you will feel more comfortable and probably be safer if you play, replace them more often. Also, you see we have a pre-filter. This helps to filter out the particulates. So these pre-filters can be replaced several times before you have to replace the cartridge. So this is the first thing you do, replace the pre-filter, and then when necessary, replace the cartridge. The other thing that's important to talk about is storage. Um, there's several different ideas about storage. I think you've talked about some ways that you store your respirators. I like to keep my respirators in a coffee can or milk bucket of some sort with a lid to keep the rodents and insects and dust off of them. I try to keep one container in my main grain facility, easy access at all times. And then I keep a set in every truck, big truck, and then I try to keep one or two in every pickup. And I imagine you're part of that too, making sure we have the right masks at the right place. Because if we don't have them, right. then what they're happens? Not, they're not going to use them. Compliance goes way down. And right. you're the one having to go get more masks. That's right. So really, it is about convenience, but you need to be able to have them. And so we have a, an excellent idea here. It's a small sack that actually is breathable, and that's important. So we don't want to um, probably, if you have a mask that's wet, you need to make sure that's dried out before you store it. Particularly when you talk about your coffee can, those types of things, if you put that lid on when the mask is moist, then maybe you're going to grow some types of bacteria. We would be concerned about that. 
So any type of storage that you can think of that is available, convenient, that's important, and also safe for the type of masks. So once again, we're going to talk about getting the right mask with the right job with the right fit.